man says it was a pretty close call when he got into an accident with a forklift. Thankfully, he was able to walk away. News 9's Angelicia Bruton spoke to the driver, who says he's still shaken up after that crash. Angelicia? Lawrence Larson tells me he was leaving work for the day when he got into a traumatic accident. He says his life flashed before his eyes, and he's thankful to be here. I was shaking so bad. I just couldn't believe it actually happened. It was just like a scene out of a movie. Larson tells me he was sitting at the traffic light at Southwest 44th and MacArthur Drive on his way to run some errands. That's when everything went bad in a hurry. An 18-wheeler semi-truck carrying a forklift was in front of Larson in traffic. There was a truck turning similar to this one onto Southwest 44th. Larson says out of nowhere, the semi in front of him started backing up to give the turning truck more room. Just kept backing up, and that's when I started honking, saying, hey, I'm back here. And he just kept backing up. And next thing I know, impact. In a matter of seconds, Larson's car was totaled. The forklift smashed into Larson's Ford Fiesta, his shattered windshield falling on top of him. It was just a shock of, of seeing that forklift tire coming right through the window. I was screaming. I was scared. Larson says it's a miracle he didn't walk away with life-threatening injuries. It could have been a lot worse. I could have either been paralyzed or even, you know, killed, you know, and something like that, you know, and it's just, it's just hard to process. Larson says his road to recovery has been rocky, but he's not giving up. He goes to physical therapy three days a week and has walked to work while he waits for a rental car from the trucker's insurance company. It's not an easy thing to, to to do, like, you know, to walk that distance. It's about nine miles. 